National Highways has never been so aware of the need to understand the biodiversity value of the land adjacent to its network. The areas can vary from wild areas such as here in the Peak District National Park right through to motorways in the inner cities. All of those different types of habitats will have within them wildlife that we need to maintain and enhance as never before. Some of it can be rare, some of it can be quite common, but in these days of disappearing biodiversity, it must all be protected. We need to, though, in order to make sure our investments in biodiversity projects are of good quality, we need to understand exactly what we have. And for that purpose, we need to map all the land, 4,300 miles of road. So we have gone to a third party in Manchester Metropolitan University to help us with this work. We're really excited about Manchester Metropolitan University to be working with National Highways on such an exciting innovative project where for the first time we're trying to produce a detailed map of the habitats that adjoin the strategic road network. To do that we're bringing together data from more than 20 different sources including land cover data, topographical data, digital elevation models and also sent to the two satellite data to produce the first landscape scale detailed map of the habitats that adjoin the network. What's really novel about taking such a, a consistent and holistic approach is it lets National Highways make strategic decisions about where their interventions to improve habitat quality can have maximum impact for biodiversity along the network. We have national targets and we have indeed a responsibility as a business to make sure that we meet national, international objectives. To do that, this project is one of the key mechanisms for understanding the wildlife value of the land adjacent to our network.